iPads sometimes have difficulty connecting to the M20D local network, especially if they've connected to other networks between your sessions with the M20D. But here's a little trick that I found to help you get back on the network. So starting with your iPad, press the settings icon, and that opens up the settings screen. You'll see that in my case, it's already set to my regular network that I use for Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. And down under Devices, you'll see the Stagescape network. So let's select it by pressing on it. A warning screen will pop up, letting you know that this network is not connected to the Internet. And that's exactly how it should be. So just press Join anyway. And you'll see you're now set up for the M20D network. The problem is, you may not actually be connected at this point, even though you see the little check mark in the box. So press on the little I, the information button, and the particulars for the network will show up. But what we want to do is blow them all out and let the system set up all over again. So just click on the Forget Network button, and again a warning screen will pop up. Just press on Forget to erase the previous data from the network. That'll give you a clean slate in which to start over with. Okay, so we go back to the main screen. In this case, it's reselected my regular Wi-Fi network, which we'll need to change again. So press the Stagecape button, and again, it will automatically reinstall all the data that it needs to get on the air. Now, when you see the check mark, you should be able to connect. So go ahead and launch the remote app, and press Connect. And it'll switch to this. Now just give it a few seconds to connect and then open the connect window. And in the box, you should see Stagecape as an option. Just select it. And in a few more seconds, your stage should pop up. In some situations, you may need to reboot your iPad if you can't get the Stagecape network to pop up in the window. Remember, forgetting the network just flushes out old data that was stored, and then reselecting it automatically populates it again. There's no complicated setup, so you're safe to go.